So, ever since the release of the best Spider-Man games, people have been wanting news on Spider-Man 2. And Sony and Somniac weren't giving us anything until they dropped this. For as long as I can remember, I have looked for an equal. <laughs> One who could even beat me. Will one of you finally give me what I desire? Yes, we will. Yeah, baby! That's what I've been waiting for! That's what it's all about! Woo this trailer gave us a confirmation of Kraven, the Hunter, and Venom in the game. Everyone was so hyped. Oh, what are they going to put out next? What? Oh, what? 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 And then... Nothing. Insomniac and Sony did nothing for like two years. There was no trailer, no news, no artwork, no concept for nearly two years. Everyone was getting worried. For nearly two years there was silence upon a project. Normally, when there is silence on a project, it normally always means they get cancelled or it gets delayed. We didn't want Spider-Man to get delayed from 2023. It's been five years since the first game. We need a new- The fans were anxious. Everyone feared that the game was either going to get delayed or cancelled. Until one day, which made all the fans of Spider-Man cream their pants. The gameplay trailer. I remember how hyped I was when I saw this trailer. The gameplay and cinematics look amazing. This trailer showed off the new symbiotic suit Peter was going to wear in the new game, along with the new actions and combat. It was insane. You can strike your enemies with these long venom tentacles, you can turn into a spike ball for whatever reason, and absolutely destroy the internal organs of a normal citizen in that garden. Who, who, that, that's chaotic! This suit, by what we've seen so far, looks great. Some people don't like the tissue texture on the arms, or think it looks too armor plated but I think it looks perfect normally it's just black and smooth with the white logo and the white square patches on his hand which would have looked pretty boring in this game I especially like the eyes of the new suit they look super expressive and just have a very satisfying texture to the game and the spider it's the exact same from the comics after absolutely destroying the neighborhood you can then switch two miles yes a two spider-man game and you can launch off the buildings with the exaggerated swag of a black t with the new powers of the ps5 you can have way faster swinging and it looks great and then there's complainers everyone wanted it to be as fast as this are they dumb the f let's take a moment to look at the detail they have presented in this confirmed to be early build of the game they have people in windows what game has that? The amount of detail in this game is insane. Then Insomniac shows us one of the best features in a Spider-Man game. Yes, that's right. You can do the 299 Mars Morales Arcade. The web wings. Who wants to swing around a city when you can just glide? We then go to the fish market and absolutely fold hundreds with the Mars Morales KO move. They actually added it in, that's right. I wasn't kidding before. And then you get jump scared by a B-Tech version of Killer Croc's skin. And then Spider-Man smashes through the roof, as as they do. The swinging continues. I mean, look at the speed. Then the Spider-Man switch after Miles has to help a cripple. And Peter is chasing down the gunmen. Until they freaking knock him out. And Miles sacrifices himself and nearly gets his black ass beaten by a swimming monkey. Then skiing away. Damn, those guys ate sh Peter and Miles saves the day birds of a helicopter, blah blah blah. So Peter pulls a Billy Maguire See you, chump. and swings up, glides into the sunset. Beautiful. Miles is just like, damn, Peter's tripping. And then that's that's the end of the gameplay trailer. This is the first bit of Spider-Man news that we got after being in a massive drought. You do not believe how many times I've rewatched this Spider-Man gameplay and wanted the games. I just wanted the game. Then after that, it just kept coming. A month later, the game cover and release date is announced for 20th of October release date, putting the anxious fans at ease for the fear of the games being delayed. Even after the game developers and the game director said that they can make the release date and the game won't be getting delayed. Then again, it is the same director that says that Eddie Brock won't be Venom. So everyone's pointing their Venom hooks, Venom fingers, Venom tendrils, Venom sausages, 
to Harry Osborn. This could still be a good version of Venom, since there have been so many important people that have been Venom. But we've not got a confirmation for who that is yet. So, so far, everyone knows that Kraven is searching for his prey or, or hunting for someone to fight. I, I don't know, e it's ego issues, you know? And that Venom is in the game, fighting Spider-Man and Spider-Man. A month later, we get the story trailer. And what did they do to my boy Miles, bruh? Boy, ha he had a fictional haircut. This trailer has given us more insight for what's going to be in the game. It gave us our first look at Wraith, Yuri from the first game who went rogue in the DLC and a much better look at Venom in action, as well as MJ hiding from a toxic relationship, still better than Sam Raimi's. I do not care, I will die on this hill. Harry also plays a much bigger role in the second game compared to the first game in which he was drowning in a test tube for years. He wants to heal the world, with Venom also saying he wants to heal the world. So I'm guessing they want to cure cancer or solve world issues because with Venom's help, Harry went from this to this. So they could they could do a lot. This trailer also gives us a bit of a better look at the black suit in which gets overloaded by the lizard's moaning and turns into another spiky ball. We get to see both Spider-Man swing in this beautiful shot over Brooklyn. It looks gorgeous! Peter introducing Mars and Harry at Coney Island. The new game is set to have the map three times larger than it was in the first game, with us getting a slight look at Brooklyn, at Queens, and at Coney Island, and there's still more to come. After this trailer was released, they decided to announce something which they denied they were going to do. They were releasing limited edition Spider-Man 2 PS5s, with the side plates and the controllers being able to be played separately. As I'm recording this, the cells are live and you can still get the DualSense controller, but the side plates ran out of stock on the same day they were released. So that's really annoying because I could have got one, but I didn't, so I'll, I will have to find a scalper. There's obviously more that I've not said, but that is the main thing of everything we know about Spider-Man 2. This game is hyped to the max, and with Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse only just releasing around a month or two months ago, whatever month it was released in, the Spider-Man hype is real. But what we've seen so far, I think is enough. And with Yuri teasing that we've seen nothing yet, there is so much more to come that we don't even know, so we will have to wait and see what else is going to be in this game. Are you guys hyped for this game? I know I'm hyped for this game. Are you guys hyped for this game? I know I'm hyped for this game! And make sure to keep up with these videos, because I will be uploading rumours, news and reviews for the new Spider-Man game. This is everything we know about Spider-Man 2 in August. So hit that subscribe button, stay updated with the news. Bye.